me if this sounds familiar. A bad day after a night without enough sleep. It's happened to a lot of us. And you know, if adults don't handle sleep deprivation well, what about our kids? 11 News reporter Janice Williamson asked some questions for us and found out there could be a link between sleep disorders and attention deficit disorder. At the playground, Trey Garlinghouse never backs away from a challenge. It's kind of scary. In class, it can be a different story. He would spend his time lining up the crayons and he just totally missed the assignment. There would eventually be a diagnosis of attention deficit disorder and medicine to help him pay attention. Still couldn't focus, still couldn't complete work, had to be reminded all the time mm -hmm. um, to, to stay on task. Instead of more medicine, Trey's parents turned to this, a sleep study. Dr. Gerald Simmons tells us two common sleep disorders, restless leg syndrome and sleep apnea, often lead to ADD or ADHD-like symptoms. It can disturb sleep to the point where someone is not going to be focused during the day. You need to have good sleep in order to maintain your focus. The neurologist believes a third of children diagnosed with attention deficit actually have a sleep disorder. It's happening over and over and over again. Simmons tells us Trey has a subtle form of sleep apnea, a diagnosis that's often missed in children. We measured it more meticulously by measuring the pressures in his airway with a thin little catheter. We saw that he was working harder during the night with his breathing, and that fragmented his sleep. Trey began wearing a CPAP, a machine that uses positive air pressure to keep his airway open while he sleeps. What a difference at school. It keeps me more focused to where I can complete a worksheet. The fourth grader doesn't take medicine anymore, and a recent evaluation determined he no longer has any significant symptoms of attention deficit disorder. Janice Williamson, 11 News.